If I were a Ted Bundy, I think I'd see the handwriting on the wall finally. So I'd go out in a blaze of glory. I mean, I would crash and burn. I would, I would, you know, I would tell everything I know in hopes that if nothing else, that I would go down as the biggest and baddest in the history of the United States or whatever, you know. The Rancourts have been on an emotional roller coaster for 15 years, looking for some closure to their grief. Of the two, Dale has had to be the strong one. <sighs> Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Can't have two weepies in this no, house. No, we sure can't. <clears throat> I think we wear our sanity like a very thin shell, though. Too many more of these bumps. And... It gets a bit tight sometimes. Yeah. But other parents don't have such support. She was everything to me. And as far as I'm concerned, Ted Bundy took it all away, and he took her life and her plans from her. In many ways, Eleanor Rose has never gotten over the shock of losing her daughter, Denise Nasland. Now, and instead of relief at hearing of Bundy's confession, Rose feels anger at the years of lies. And I feel kind of a cold bitterness, you know, towards him along with hatred. But he could do that and then after 14, 15 years decide he will tell something to spare his life. Has that Dale Rancourt says he believes in capital punishment only well, under exceptional circumstances. This, he says, is one of them. I know that if, if a, a person is a menace to society, they ought to be exterminated. That's how I feel about it. So I'm, I'm a vindictive type person in this case. I, yes, I want to see him. I'd love to see him suffer is what I'd really like to see. Mm -hmm. As opposed to a death penalty, I'd like to see him suffer. But we're, we're too humane for that kind of thing. We don't do those kinds of things. But I think that if you make someone else suffer really bad that something really bad ought to happen to you. Frank Abe, Cairo News.